everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how, how to unlock the HTC Evo 4G LTE's bootloader along with um, installing twerp recovery, custom recovery like clockwork mod, etc. And it will also reroute your device. So uh, it's going to go ahead and unlock your bootloader via HTC dev. It's going to install twerp recovery so you can flash ROMs, etc. And it's also going to give you root access again. So I'm completely stock actually. Uh, you should be able to do this while you're rooted as well. So uh, this is going to automatically unlock your bootloader as I said. So unlocking your bootloader will actually void your warranty with HTC. So keep that in mind. Um, if you also want to follow my unroot video, I can link to that in the description. If you need to unroot for any reason, you're going to want to relock your bootloader first. I'll make a video on how to relock your bootloader. It'll actually be pretty easy, so I'll make a video on how to do so. And then um, you're going to want to watch my how to unroot video as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. So first of all, you're going to want to go to settings. And then you're going to want to scroll down, go to developer options. And once you're in developer options, make sure USB debugging is checked up at the top. So check USB debugging. Uh, you're also going to want to make sure you have a couple things downloaded and installed. So go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video actually. Don't plug your phone in just yet. Doing so will take you to this site right here. As you can see, um, it's called the Raga Mod. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying all these things right. But anyways, I do want to give a shout out to Raga Linad. Linad. Um, if, I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I apologize. But big shout out to him for putting this together for us. You'll see we have this. Um, it'll basically... As I said, do all those things I we wanted to do, of course. So you need to have at least 40% battery before running this, so make sure you do charge up your battery. It reboots to bootloader, gets the unlock token from HTC Dev, uh, retrieves the unlock code from HTC Dev, and then it unlocks your bootloader. So it does everything for you, and then it installs Twerp, and then it's uh, it roots your device as well. So. Uh, make sure that you do clear your Google Wallet settings. I do have a video on how to do that. I will link to that in the description of the video. So make sure you clear those before doing this because it will actually, um, it's unlocking your bootloader actually wipes your device. It shouldn't wipe your internal storage, but it will wipe your apps or contacts, etc. So keep that in mind when uh, when doing this. So what we're going to need to do is download a couple things. You're going to need the HTC drivers installed on your PC. If you already have those, don't have to worry about it. You're also going to need to download and install .NET 4.0. Um, your PC probably already has it, but download it anyway and click on the exe file to run it. It should say either repair or remove, but if it does say install, go ahead and install. You need it as well. So make sure you install HTC drivers. You're also going to need an active internet connection. So. Once done there, I do want to give a shout out to all these guys as well, DJR3Z, JJam99, Team Win, Sparky M3, Dan Rosenberg, Chainfire, and uh, whoever tested this out, the brave souls that tested this, so thanks to all of these guys, sorry about that. But anyways, uh, we're going to need to download it, it actually depends on whether you're on 32-bit or 64-bit, x86 is 32-bit, x64 is 64-bit, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to click on the 64-bit version because that is what I need. Um, it'll download it right away. Uh, once done there, we can actually, uh, once you have the drivers installed in .NET 4.0 installed, you can plug your device into your PC. So go ahead and just pop that in. Um, it should say USB debugging up at the top. Go ahead and unlock it and make sure it says charge only and hit done. So once you're on charge only, you're ready to go. You have that file downloaded. You can actually go to your downloads folder. It will be called the Riga mod right there. Um, 64, double click on it. It'll be a zip file. We're actually probably gonna wanna extract that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make a folder on my desktop. So what I'm gonna do is right click on my desktop here, hit new and make a new folder. Once I make a new folder, I could just call it uh, bootloader. Evo. Whatever I want to call it, of course you can call it anything you want. I'm going to click on both of these files and extract them both into this bootloader Evo folder. So that's all you have to do. It's a zip file so you kind of want to get, get them out into this folder. Once you get them out into this folder, we're ready to go. What you can go ahead and do is double click on this Raga mod right here and hit run. It's going to go ahead and run this uh, modification that's going to do everything for you. So here it is right here, this uh, Evo 4G LTE uh, root tool. So you'll see it loads on up, it uh, recognizes your phone, and you'll see that it's just got this button right here that says root me. So you'll see it says connected down there, you'll see root me. Um, it says this is about to start, do not unplug your Evo, so make sure you do not unplug your phone. Do you wish to continue? Yes. 
you do, you'll see this window now because we were waiting for your Evo 4 GLT to reconnect to your computer after a reboot. So your device is actually going to reboot. So I'll let it reboot. Uh, you'll see it. Uh, it'll probably take a bit of time. So it's going to go into the bootloader. Mine says locked up, the, up at the top. If yours is already rooted, it should say tampered actually. Um, so it says, please wait while HTC dev is automated and submit your token. So hit OK. It'll actually automate this HTC dev thing. Um, which is going to give you a token to unlock your bootloader via htcdev.com. It says, please log in, re-logged in, get the token right here, and we are ready to go. So we got our unlock code. This is actually amazing how it's doing this automatically for us. It's very awesome. So uh, it's, it's sitting in the bootloader, of course, still, but it's still running through. So now we are on this screen. So this is a pretty important screen. So let's go ahead and go to it. All right, so we're on this unlocked bootloader screen. It might look familiar to you if you've had a Nexus device in the past because this screen comes up quite a bit. But anyways, so what we're gonna need to do is unlock our bootloader. It may void your warranty. As I said, it probably does with HTC. It shouldn't with Sprint. Um, when you actually take it back to stock, your, your bootloader will say relock, but Sprint should still be able to replace it and such. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. All you have to do is press the volume up button once. It'll highlight the yes button right there and then press the power button to select it. So go ahead and press the power button. This is what's actually gonna wipe all your data. So once you do that, it'll wipe all your data and stuff. Uh, go back to this, uh, this little script here and there's actually a continue button right here down at the bottom. So what we're gonna need to do is press this continue button after you hit yes. So hit continue, and now it says your phone is now rebooting after it's fully booted, and you go to the home screen, we're gonna need to do some more stuff. So let it boot on up. It's gonna take a bit of time as it, I believe it just did a factory reset, so it's gonna take some time to reboot. So be patient with the first boot up. All right, so the phone just booted back up. As I said, it did do a factory reset. Leave it on charge only and hit done, and then run through. All right, so I ran through the uh, startup screens and such. That's what you need to do. So let's go ahead. And once done there, um, you can leave it plugged in. As I said, make sure it's on charge only. Go into your settings and then go back to developer options and recheck USB debugging. Since we did a factory reset, um, we will have to recheck USB debugging. With that startup uh, screens, of course, you can actually run through and set them up if you want because this is the only time we'll do a factory reset. So allow USB debugging and hit OK. Now once you do so, your PC will recognize your device and the program will continue. You'll see now uh, this window now because we're waiting for the Evo 4G LT to reconnect and it should actually reboot your device once again. It'll probably go into the bootloader again uh, because it's gonna need to do some commands to install our twerp recovery. So I believe that's what, it's, what it is doing now. So it says it's rebooting to bootloader. We will wait and see what, exactly what it does. Um, rebooting our device fully now. Um, so it'll reboot and it's probably waiting for it to reconnect. So let it reboot and then once it boots back up it'll reconnect and continue. Alright, so it says it's flashing recovery. And then I don't know what else it's going to do. Looks like it's loading on up. It still says flashing recovery. Of course, USB debugging is still on up at the top, as you can see. Once it reboots, you will see that. Looks like it's probably rooting the device as well. It does take a bit of time, so you're going to have to be patient with it. Okay, so I've been sitting on this flashing recovery screen for a while now. So it looks like um, what I'm going to do now is actually manually just go into the bootloader. So if you to do so, that's actually probably good for you guys to know how to manually get into the bootloader anyway. So the only reason I'm going to be doing this is to um, just double check and make sure it flashed properly if yours does get stuck on this flashing recovery screen right here. So uh, we're going to need to let it power off. So I press the powered off button and then to get into our bootloader, all you have to do is press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. So press and hold both of them. Um, keep it held down and then it should take us into our bootloader. So kind of be patient with it, let it uh, do its thing. Uh, we're gonna need to let it reboot into the bootloader. Looks like the LED screen. I'm just kind of holding it down, keeping it held down because it is plugged in. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna let go and redo it again. So let's press and hold power button and volume down button at the same time. Hopefully it uh, goes in the bootloader. So it does, once I let go, it does go into the bootloader. You'll see it says unlocked up at the top. So you will see it does say unlocked. Um, you'll see it's highlighted on fast boot. Press the power button. It'll go into fast boot. It says fast boot USB. 
um, and then it looks like it, there we go. So that is what needed to be done. You just need to press the fast boot button. So go into the bootloader on your own if yours does get stuck and then it uh, took it into fast boot and now it says waiting for device. So it looks like it's waiting for it to boot back up. So again, what that did was uh, flash the, uh, reco the twerp recovery for us. So of course, if it does get stuck there, we're gonna need to manually do it on our own. So power it off, press and hold volume down power button at the same time, and then you'll see fast boots highlighted, press the power button to go to it. And then now it says it's waiting for it to reconnect after a reboot. Um, so sorry about that delay. Um, wasn't expecting that, but glad we could get it figured out. So hopefully it doesn't do that for you, but it might. So I'm actually really glad that happened to me so you guys know um, how to fix it if it does happen to you. So it says waiting for it to reconnect again. I don't know if it's rebooting again. Looks like it's kind of off. So we'll see if it's rebooting on its own again. It should be, so it is. So you'll see it reboot a few times. Um, just kind of wanted to let you guys know what it, ex what it is exactly doing so you know what to expect out of your phone as hopefully yours doesn't do what mine just did, but it might, so we will see. All right, so it looks like it's basically rebooting the, f it's actually rooting the phone now, so it's gonna reboot it again. So I'm gonna let it uh, reboot and I will be back once it reboots. So you'll see it's off, it'll actually power back on and reboot. Okay, so it rebooted again. It says pushing root files. Rooting is now complete. You may now unplug your Evo. So there you have it. Should be rebooting my device. I'm gonna hit okay. And it looks like it's done. It's rebooting my phone. So it'll reboot it and I can unplug my phone. So we are done. So I will go to my device now and show you guys I'm now rooted and running twerp as well. So let it boot on up and I will be back. So here we go, booting on up. You can unplug it, of course. We are done with our PC, so that is all that needed to be done. Only that one little hiccup, but we were able to fix it on the fly, thankfully. So we only had that one little hiccup. It should take probably a little bit longer than usual to boot up due to it being pushed root files and such and giving it root access, so I'll be back. Okay, so just a heads up, my phone just went to the home screen actually and then automatically rebooted. I'm not too worried because it did that when I actually rooted the phone the first time, so I'm not too uh, worried there. So let's go ahead and let it boot back up and then I should be back to the home screen. All right, so boot it on up. As I said, it did not wipe your data. Nothing else is gonna wipe your data in this process. But now when we go to our app store, you should see Super SU. There it is right there. So we are rooted now and we do have a custom recovery. So we're ready to flash ROMs and such. Our bootloader is unlocked. So let's go ahead and show you how to get into our custom recovery now. So to do so, we're gonna need to power off the device. Um, of course, with our custom recovery, with our twerp recovery. If you're not familiar with twerp, it's pretty much, it does the exact same stuff as Clockwork Mod, it's just, it's just a little different. Um, you're, you're gonna have the similar experience with it. It's a touch screen recovery. So I will show you that in a bit. So here we go. So once our phone is powered off, what we're gonna need to do is actually go into the bootloader again. As you guys saw earlier in the video, to do so, press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. So go ahead and keep those held down. And then you'll see, it looks like my lights are blinking down at the bottom of the screen. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it looks like I failed to go into the bootloader. So unfortunately, looks like it's booting up my phone. So let me go ahead and power it back on down and I'll be back. All right, so power my phone back off. I think the key is to keep it held down until the blinking stops. So I'm gonna press and hold volume down and power button again. I'm gonna keep it held down. You'll see they're blinking down at the bottom, but I'm gonna keep them held down until it stops actually. So I'm gonna keep holding those buttons. It looks like they stopped, so I believe I can let go and it'll take me to the bootloader. And I don't know, it's not doing anything. So let's press and hold volume down and power button again. I'm gonna press and hold them again. All right, so it takes me into our uh, bootloader. So here we have it, um, takes us into the bootloader. So let's go ahead and run through and check everything out. So here is our bootloader. Up at the top it says tampered and unlocked. The reason it says tampered is because we are rooted. Um, of course, if you remember when you rooted your device, it said tampered. Running the RUU should uh, undo that. My how to unroot video will show you how to, but it does say unlocked. Um, if you do wanna relock your phone, it will say relocked actually. So. Uh, that's very unfortunate that you lose your warranty with HCC if you do the, do, do this, but uh, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. So 
here we go. Um, let's go ahead and jump into it. So you've got fast boot recovery, factory reset, clear storage, sim lock, image, CRC, and show barcode. You use volume up and down to navigate through your uh, H boot, and you use the power button to select it. So uh, what we're going to need to do is you'll see it's highlighted on fast boot. Press volume down once, and you'll see recovery is highlighted. Then press the power button to select it. So what you're going to do is select recovery, and what that's going to do is take us into our twerp recovery, our custom recovery. Uh, it should load on up. It'll, you'll see a nice curtain, a blue curtain that says twerp on it. Team Win Recovery. So shout out to Team Win for this recovery. Um, reboots our phone again. And it looks like it's fully rebooting my phone. So not exactly sure why it's doing that. It should have taken me to my custom recovery. So um, I'm not sure why, but we can actually try it again. So I don't see why trying it again won't work. So maybe this will happen to you. Um, it looks like it's booting up fully. I don't know why this is uh, giving me some issues. So let's go ahead and power back our device, go back into our bootloader. Okay, so I'm back in my bootloader. Again, what I had to do is press and hold volume down power button until the lights stopped blinking, let go, and then press and hold it again, and it took me into the bootloader. So here we go, let's go ahead and run through this again. Volume down until we highlight recovery and press the volume button, I mean the power button to select it. Um, it should take us into recovery, so let's go ahead and uh, see what it does now. Build this for development purposes only. Do not distribute. There we go. So team win. So um, I don't know if it's just my phone giving me issues or if it's a common thing for it to do that, but it looks like the first time you select recovery, it doesn't take you into it, but it did the second time, so no need to worry here. So let's go ahead and run through twerp really quick. All right, so this is Twerp Recovery, Team Win Recovery. So uh, you'll see Team Win Recovery Project version 2.1.8 lets you know the time and the battery percentage up at the top, which is nice to know. You'll see a home button and a back arrow right there. Uh, you'll see a bunch of buttons. This is, of course, a touch screen recovery if you're not familiar with it. Um, it is similar to Clockwork Mod, as I said. So you have an install option. So if you want to install Zips, you have a white button, which will take you to wipe cache, Dalvi Cache Factory Reset. Uh, battery stats, rotation, and system, so all the good stuff before you want to flash your ROMs. Um, you can make a backup, so you can choose what you want to back up, um, and then you swipe it to back up, so when you do swipe, it does its thing, so you can have a restore. So if you want to restore your Android backups, you can. You have a mount option, so you can mount using internal or using external. You can actually select. Sometimes the touchscreen can be a little finicky. Um, you kind of have to press it a bunch of times to get it to switch over. So, um, But it might not let me know, though, because I don't have an external SD card in there. So we'll see. So you can hit the back arrow. You can go into settings, so you have some settings. Uh, of course, you can change your time zone and such. I believe mine's set by default, so it looks like it does have the right time there. Um, you have advanced settings as well, copy log, etc., file manager, and you have a reboot option. So you can reboot your device as well. So that would be it. Just kind of run through twerp. So I'm just going to hit reboot, and you can reboot system, power off recovery, or go back into your bootloader. I'm going to reboot the system because I want to turn my phone back on. So there we have it. We are now unlocked. We have our custom recovery installed as well. We have root access as well. Um, I'm going to be doing many other videos on how to flash ROMs and stuff, so you're definitely going to want to be sure to subscribe to me. So press that subscribe button. Um, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. All links will be in the description of the video below. If you do have any problems uh, or any questions at all, have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Hopefully this worked for you. Please be sure to leave a comment. Let me know if this worked for you. Um, it should work just fine. I hopefully ran into all the issues that are going to happen. So there we have it there. So uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. I do really appreciate that. And thanks for watching.